All right. Before we begin, let's give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, or Hashem Yahweh Shai, or Hashem Rakhadash. Double honors to the apostles and numbers of great millstone that rule well. And it's just a sincere salutation to you brothers out there pushing this truth in sincerity. And, uh, you know, there's a lot going on in the spirit, you know, me and the brothers who was rapping before we turned the camera on. And, uh, you know, more than ever, you know, right now is the time to be very, you know, you know, diligent in the work, you know, to be very uh, focused, you know, because the time that is coming, we're going to have to rely on what, you know, we learned, you know, while we were in this knowledge, while we had this grace period, you know. So, with that being said, we're going to start in the book of Isaiah. Can you get that from the book of Baal Kishon? It was Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation, and the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of, of thy times. Meaning that, you know, the wisdom and knowledge, okay, that you have um, received, you know, the, the Lord has allotted you, you know, coming into this truth, that's that's going to be the stability of of, of uh, in those times, okay? And the fear of the Lord is going to be what? What does it say, brother? The fear of the Lord is the strength. And the fear of the Lord is his treasure. And the fear of the Lord is his treasure, right? Because, you know, when you fear the Heavenly Father, man, that's 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 the first thing to be accepted of it, okay? So, you know, when, when you fear the Heavenly Father by not, you know, doing things that are going to upset him, you know, that, that's really going to be your ticket. You know, that's really going to be what the Heavenly Father look, looks looks for in a man. It, 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 did he fear? You know, and my fear is what? You know, following the commandments. Mm -hmm. You know? Matter of fact, um, mm -hmm. come on, go ahead. This is Proverbs 8 and 11. For wisdom is better than rubies, mm -hmm. and all the things that, that, that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I have wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. You know, because we open up with the wisdom and knowledge should be the stability of the time, man. And basically the scriptures, you know, everything that the scriptures foretell, you know, we basically have the vision that's going to guide us in the times that are to come, man. You know, that's what the scriptures have. Every, uh, you know, basically they possess knowledge, man, mm -hmm. that we have uh, acquired through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Mashad, man. You know, that's going to basically keep us sane in, the, in, in those times. And that's what the scriptures say that it's better than rubies, because in those take in those days the scriptures say that money and gold shall not deliver thee, man. Mm -hmm. You know it's gonna be this wisdom, this knowledge, the spirit of the Lord, man. You know because that's basically what the Lord's gonna do, man. That that great work that He's gonna work on His men. You know that you know basically through faith, man, are they gonna be delivered? You know through faith and, and basically the works that they did while they were here, which is to study, you know, to to uh, make that calling and election sure, man. You know all those things. You know, a uh, total uh, uh, salvation, man. You know, you have to have all those things working together for you to make it out of here, man. You know, basically. Yeah. Um, if you could get um, get um, Habakkuk two and two, and then if, brother, if you could get um, let's get uh, uh, the one about uh, calling the election short sure, in, in the book of Peter. Right, man. You know, because, you know, right now, you know, through the Spirit, you know, it, it, it's been, um, you know, the decree went out for brothers to do uh, more videos, you know what I mean? And, and really, when you look at it, you know, that that's for what? That's for you to stay in the Scriptures, man, for you to stay in the Spirit. Because at any time, you know, you have a Shemesh, I can come, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and what are you going to do in that day? Are you, are you, are you going to have the, that wisdom and knowledge, okay, to be stable? You know what I mean? Go ahead, brother. Uh, this is Habakkuk 2 and 2. And the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon the tables. Right, and that's what we're supposed to do. You know, when we, when we get this knowledge, we're supposed to teach it and, 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 and what? Make it plain, you know, so that others can can um, can understand it. You know, like how when we came into the knowledge, you know, the apostles, the elders, the other brothers that were before us, you know, they taught us the truth. They taught us the prophecies. They taught us um, wisdom. You know, they taught us how to con conduct ourselves. Okay, so that now we in turn give it back. Okay. Uh, this is a, this is a first Peter. Oh, this is a little bit more. Yeah. Second Peter. Write the uh, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Right, so so that he that may that, that, that may run that readeth it. So 
you know, you know, you you, you have to study, man. You know, you have to study. Mm -hmm. You have to be, uh, 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 you know, in the scripture so that you know when you when you teach it, you know, when you teach the word, you know, you make it you make it plain so that he that uh, readeth it and he can run with it. You know what I'm saying? He he can get the knowledge in it. And he can pass it on to other men. You know, the scripture tells you Timothy, you know, uh, uh, you know, give this truth to faithful men that they may teach others. Because yep. really, that's what we're here for. We're here to uh, give back, okay, the, the, the knowledge that was given to us so that we can, you know, sound the alarm. So we can, you know, put out the message, you know, that you blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, you are the biblical Israelites. Huh. And the Heavenly Father, okay, he's, he's visiting the world in which he created. So get yourself together, get yourself right. You know what I mean? Per adventure, you know, we ourselves, you know, we, we be part of that, that number. So it's going to go into that. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, right. but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, and right. will not tarry. Right, run that last piece back, run the book. For verse uh, Habakkuk 2 and 3, for the vision is yet for an appointed time. Right, so it, it's for an appointed time. You know what we're saying? You know, through the Spirit, that, that the Heavenly Father is coming. Hey, it, 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 that, that vision and everything that's going to happen in that day, you know, it's for an appointed time. That's right. Go ahead, brother. And not lying, though, so like it, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Right, and at the end it's going to be it's going to be made manifest, mm -hmm. man, that what we're saying is true, okay, that we are the biblical Israelites, man, you know. The, the, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is a so-called uh, black man, you know, and the, uh -huh. the, the, he is going to come in chariots, okay. It's, it's, it's not going to lie. A lot of people will be uh, are going to be very surprised in that day when they come to see, okay, that what the Hebrew Israelites, them guys, you know, they were on the corner, you know, what they were saying is true. Go ahead, bro. Don't tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Right, right, wait for it, because, you know, before you know it, it's going to be here. You know, right. before you know it, you know, it's going to be here. Go ahead, bro. Because the second Peter 1 and 10 says, Wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Well, if you do these things, you shall never fall. Right. Right. Go ahead, Probably. So, hey, that's what we're going to brother say. It's what's specifically speaking to the brethren, man. So, that, that's talking about the brothers that are doing this work, man. It's supposed to give diligence. Hey, that's a key word right there, diligence, man. We're, we're, in, the, we're in the spirit of diligence right now in, in, uh, in Israel, man. I'm among the men that have been called to do this work, the spirit of diligence has been, uh, has been pushed up, man. So, this is to what? To level up the body. Because this, this decree has been given to the whole body, man. So the whole body is going to be leveled up, man. It's going to be made perfect. Eh? It's going to it's going to prove that we are that that royal priesthood that shows in generation, man. Mm -hmm. Because this because what you see now, you never seen it before. You never you never seen men with 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 that spirit, with that fervor, with the desire to teach his word across the whole globe. And specifically, you never seen black and Latino Native American men. With that spirit and fervor, man. Mm -hmm. Does that prove that we were we were that we were in those times, man? Yeah. That we were in those times where Yahweh Shai is gonna put all his prophets again to to, to <coughs> help us out of destruction in this place. Because that's that's the most high and most, so to speak. You know, he he, uh, he tells you, he, he warns the, the people and the and the heathens and the and the Edomites about the destruction that's gonna come. So at the end of the day, you can't say, "Well, I didn't know," or "No one ever told me." Well, this truth will never be revealed to you. No, you can't say that no more. And, 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 kind of, and we're here to debunk all that, man. Right. And the more that brothers put out work, the, the, you know, that, that means that, what does that, what does that mean, bro? That means that, that the nighttime is, is uh, it, what's, that, what's that scripture where it says, uh, uh, do your work by the day, and right. night comes? I have it on the phone right now. God, yeah, yeah, that, that's what the time we're living in right now, man. Because that's why, the spirit, that's why the, the people made out to put, to increase our work. But do the work while it is day, man, because we're in that day that told you right there that the night is coming, man. Hey, I got it. Basically, what the Lord did was He opened the floodgates, man. You know, He He, he basically He's basically making it. You know, it's like the last push, basically before the yeah. end. Because mm -hmm. you know, you see all the prophecies, man. You yep. see everything that's going on in the in the in the in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, basically the Lord's allowing the floodgates of this truth basically to cover the whole planet. Yeah. So the end could come, man. The mm -hmm. right. say once this knowledge is spread throughout the four corners of the earth. Then shall the end come. You know, if I may, I'm going to just get this real quick. This is Habakkuk 2 and 14. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge ah. of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea, man. Damn. You see, so that's basically what's happening right now, man. And that's why that decree went out. 
And you saw how it went down the whole baby. Hey, that spirit hit her apostle to her right there at the moment. It's yeah. not like he was planning there. It was like, hey, wait up. It hit him. Yeah. You, know, you saw that, like, it hit him. And, and you know, that's the, this is where we find ourselves now, right? Mm -hmm. I got this with the, with the brother I had quoted. This is John 9 and 4. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. And, 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 and you know what? In the ancient world, they used to work during the day. You know, for the most part, mm -hmm. you see, because you know, people, you know, of course, people can work even at night. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, but but you know, during the day is when is when usually people work, and, and that you know, because at nighttime is when people do what wickedness. Yeah. So so if we are not of the night, you know, we are we are of the day. So we have to work while it is day, man. You know, while 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 while, while there's a chance to work and do the work, it, you know, we got to do it now because you know, ultimately, you know. You know the scriptures tell you you know have your have your have your your your, your loins girded with truth and your lights burning. You know what I'm saying. So when the heavenly Father comes back, man, that you know he he can see you know that, you know that, that, that you may be doing you know what you're commanded of you know uh, uh, when he comes. You know you don't you don't want to come and be caught you know slipping man not not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, going back to Isaiah 33 and six, man, it says up. Uh, Knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of your times. And that word stability goes into the word steadfast, which means unmovable, man. So this is to put us in a position where we are unmovable to the spirit, man. You know, because the times that are coming, because we know what's coming next. We know that the microchip is coming. We know that martial law is coming. We know Jacob's trouble is coming. We know that famine of bread is coming. Pretty soon there's not going to be no food in your grocery stores, man. You know, pretty soon there's, there's going to be chaos. In the streets. We know that forced vaccinations are coming, that and ultimately that microchip and martial law and so on and so forth. What they call uh, the beginning of sorrow, the time of Jacob's trouble. You know, so that's the time we're living in. That, and that's why, that's why through the spirit, you know, this word is going to get increased. I got this one uh, real quick. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 9 and 14. So like uh, 9, no, 7 and 19. It says, Wisdom strengthens the wise more than 10 mighty men which were in the city because. Because Esau's coming down a great rep. So so our our our, our counteraction to that is gonna be wisdom. It's gonna be this word. You know, so so the, the mighty man, which is Esau Edom, you know, going back to Revelation 12 and 12, you know, the devil coming down a great rep. He's he's coming for us, man. And we we can't we, we don't we don't we don't have weapons or militaries to fight against them. But what we do got is this sword right here, what we call a sword, which is the word, man. And that, that that's gonna be the that's gonna be our defense, man. That, that's going to be what's going to get us through these times to come, man. Mm -hmm. I got one. This is uh, Isaiah 55 and 11. And so shall my word that, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of out of my mouth. You know, and basically the word goes out yep. through the, you know, because the Lord has vessels, man, in the planet of earth that, that speak his word. Mm -hmm. So that's what the scriptures mean when, it, when, when the Lord says that he's speaking out of his mouth. Because we basically represent the Lord's mouth because when we speak, we come out the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. So it reads, uh, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, mm -hmm. and it shall prosper into in the thing whereto I sent it. You know, and, and um, a few weeks back, the brothers made a video about uh, we're basically talking uh, these prophecies into existence, mm -hmm. man. You know, because we're, we're basically foretelling the things that are basically uh, uh, happening right now on the planet Earth, man. You know, four years ago, brothers was talking about that. You know, pretty soon you're not going to be able to watch your NBA, your NFL, your you know your soccer games mm -hmm. and shit. Well, then we experienced that during that COVID. Yeah. You know where everything, we, everything basically was canceled. Yeah, that scripture that says that uh, that mirth, the folly shall cease, man. Yeah. Not to paraphrase yeah. Yeah. That, that scripture came true, bro. You see, so that's that's basically our job, man. You know, we're we're uh, you know basically laying down the vision that the Lord has in store for this land. You know, and it's not a good thing, man. You know, uh, basically the Lord's gonna bring destruction. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 what we're seeing happening right now on the planet Earth. You know the the words that the prophet's been talking for a long time, being um, um, uh, manifested in in the physical form in the planet Earth. You know the Lord said, man, that His words shall shall accomplish that which the Lord pleases, man. And what does the Lord please, man? To 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 basically uh, this kingdom being destroyed, man. You know the the, the men of the Lord. The, the scriptures say that it pleased the Lord through the foolishness of preaching. Mm -hmm. You know, so the Lord it pleases the Lord watching us out there in the highways and highways, you know, proclaiming against this devil, man. You know? Wow, I got one. This is Amos 3 and uh, 6. This is, shall a trumpet be blown in the city, 
and the people not be afraid. Mm -hmm. You know, and in the ancient world, they used to they used to blow a trumpet, in, 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 like an alarm, alarming the people. You know what I mean? So you know, we're also set up as watchmen. We have to we have to alert the people. And what we see in the news, you know, filter through the scriptures. You know, me measure the times diligently. You know, everything that we see, we filter through the scriptures and we give a warning. Mm -hmm. and, and like the brother was saying, that's beautiful, man, because <clears throat> you know. The prophets are the mouthpiece of the Heavenly Father. Now, if we're the prophets, you know, then the Heavenly Father is showing us, okay, and telling us basically to be in the Spirit. Because anything can go down at any minute. And, and a man of the Spirit, okay, you know, that's, that's doing the work, man, is, is, is you have a better chance than, than someone who's not. All right? So it says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and Yahweh have not done it? Surely, Yahweh, thy power, will do nothing but he revealed his secret to his servants, the prophets. Mm -hmm. You know? And, and what's the secret? You have to stay in the spirit. Yep. While other camps are what? You know, you got, you got a lot of folly mm -hmm. in Israel, and you got a lot of folly with, with, with people of our own nation. You know, blacks, right. Latino, Native Americans. You know, the, 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 those, you know, those, man, they, they, they're not being revealed. The secrets, man. They're, they're not going to be ready in that day, man. You know hey. what I'm saying? So it's better, it's better to be uh, you know, doing the work and be ready to not. Hey, so, brother, uh, those those people, these other these other people, our people, that are not in this word, they they're not they don't have the spiritual armor on, man. Yeah. You know, going back to the book of Ephesians, mm -hmm. so they're pretty much defenseless, man, to right. to what's coming, bro. Cause you know, hey, we have, we have our spiritual armor on, man. We're and we're we're increasing our spiritual armor. You know, we're 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 we're, we're doing the Ephesians uh, uh, suited up in that Ephesian battle suit, man. You got more there, bro? A little bit. It says, uh, it says, surely the Yahweh that power will do nothing to hear really his secret to his servants and prophets. The lion had roared. Huh. Okay, now the brother said that, that the Lord speaks to the prophets, right? Now, you know, you know, the brother from South Carolina, he made a video, you know, reiterating what Apostle R said. Now, if, 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 they're, if we're the mouthpiece, if, you know, if we're the prophets, then what did the Lord say? The Lord's telling us, hey, stay in the spirit. You know, stay doing the work, man. Have, have that light burning in you because some some could be going down. You know what I mean? That's how you got to look at it. You know, some people look at it like, oh, man, I got to do more videos. But you can't look at it like that, man. It says, the light has war. Who will not fear? Yahweh, thy power has spoken. Who can but prophesy? Mm -hmm. You know? Come on, I got this one real quick. This was uh, Luke 12 and 37. It said, blessed are those servants from the Lord when he come and shall find watching, man. That's going into what we're doing. And watching needs to be alert, to be on point, to be ready to what's going to happen, man. Verily I say unto you, he shall gird himself and make him to sit down to me, and will come forth and serve him. So, that's sort of those servants who the Lord when he come and shall find watching, man. So, in that state of preparedness. So, if you're constantly in this word, and you're constantly making videos, and you're constantly studying, and your, your mind is, is on, on that level of alertness and preparedness, man. You know, your mind's not in the folly of the world. You know, your, your, your distraction level is, is, is decreasing and your focus level is increasing, man. So you're, it's, a, it's a leveling up. You're leveling yourself up, man. You know, you're, you're increasing yourself. You're making sure that when the, when you, how about Shai, you know, does what he got to do, that you're on point. You know, you're, you're not going to be caught unawares, man. As Skipper says, uh, uh, to not be caught unawares, man, so don't be the one that's sleepless, man. You know, so is, to be asleep is to be uh, caught up in the folly of this world. What does it say, man? It says uh, a soldier doesn't entangle himself to the affairs of his life, man. So hey, that's what the spirit is right now. The spirit is to to push away the world more. Not that we didn't push it, push it away before, but to push it away more, man. To completely push it away. Because in the times we're in, you know, basically you have to, you know, there's... What, what's the scripture say for everything? There's a time and a season. Yeah, you know, right now is the time to even separate more from this world. That's right, bro. You know what the scripture say? The, the, that the fashion of this world fadeth away or passes away, I believe. Yeah, you know, because this, this, this place is, is, it already has its fate sealed, man, which mm -hmm. is, you know, to be destroyed. Right. You know what I'm saying? There ain't nothing good coming out of this bitch, man. You know, ain't, ain't no rose growing out of, out of, out of, out of, out of this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you know? This is uh, Matthew 24 and 46. Yeah. Blesses the servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. Mm -hmm. But, but, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, yeah. and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken. 
the Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. And who, do, who does that, man? Uh, IUIC does that. They, they, they say that uh, there's no such thing as Jacob's trouble. So, so they're in that spirit right there, man. Right. And we're in the spirit of being firm. Go ahead. And you know what? It's like, if I may say too, you know what? You know, the scripture says it's better to go to the house of mourning than the house of mirth, man. Okay. Because when you really look at it, behind that, 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 that Christian-like facade, mm -hmm. there's a lot of wickedness going on behind the scenes, man. You know, but, but, but we've been instructed to what? To take this, this, this truth serious, man. You know what I mean? You can't. We're not in the time of, 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 of just living it up. You know what I mean? We're in the time of really, really separating ourselves more because that's what the Spirit is calling for. God. That's right. That's right, and that, that makes sense though, bro, because what, what, we're there and the brother bring out the point, a soldier doesn't entangle himself with the affairs, affairs of the life. world. Mm -hmm. well, well, maybe, you know, you know, and it, it's proven, you know, because you do more videos, hey, you cut certain things out of the world, you know yeah. what? You know, even at work, you'd be planning on it, oh, come on, when I get home, I'm gonna have to do this, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to do that, and you know, basically, yeah. it, 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 starts, it starts to limit your time even more now, man. Mm -hmm. You know, which basically, you're spending more time with the Lord. Uh -huh. You're spending more time with, uh, bonding with Yahweh Bashim Hashem, man. You know, which in these times, it, it, it's crucial to do that, you know? Yeah. I got one. Yeah. This is uh, Acts 2, let's see. This, this is Acts 2. And 40, it says, and with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, save yourselves from this untoward generation. Mm -hmm. And when you go into that word, um, save, it's, it's uh, sozo in the Greek. It says, to save, keep safe and sound, to rescue from danger or destruction. That's what you want to do. You want to keep safe, man. You want, you want, you want to, you want to, uh, mm -hmm. you, you know, you want to stay out of the way of danger or destruction. It says, one, from injury or peril, to save a suffering one. From perishing, you see, he here it is. You, you, you maybe you, maybe you're not on fire. Maybe you, now you get back on fire, man. You know you get back into 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 the spirit of, of, of being fervent for this truth, man. You know sticking to sticking to the body of Yahweh Shai. You know you don't want to be with the untoward generation. You don't want to get cut off. You know with the with the the, the, the portion of the hypocrites. Right. It says it says one suffering from disease to make well, heal, restore to health. To preserve one who is in danger of destruction, to save or rescue. You see, that's basically all I wanted to get. You know, you know, basically, man. Hey, save yourself from these. Like the brother said, man. You know, hey, two thirds of our people they got their faith cut out for them already. Save yourself from that. You know what's gonna happen. Why even try to link, especially in these times? You know. I got one. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus six and thirteen. Separate thyself from the enemies and take heed of thy friends. You know, and basically everybody in the world is your enemy, man. You know, everybody that's not for this truth is against this truth, man. So they, 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 they basically your enemies, man. Hey, they're yeah. antichrist, huh? Yeah, they, that's what they represent, man, because they, they anti this truth, man. They anti the, this gospel, man. You know, they're not for the kingdom of heaven, man. They're against it. If they, if they had their way, man, they, they, they would want this kingdom to keep going on and on. You know what I'm saying? Especially our people, man. You know, but but the Lord has other plans for you, man. You know, the Lord's not gonna uh, allow allow that to happen, basically. You see, you got it, bro. You know, but and, and that makes sense, though. You know, you the Lord's really making it. Hey, I don't want you around, though. I want you yeah, yeah. less around. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he's making it known, man. That you know, he he don't. You know, he it's not the time to be around these uh, two thirds or you know what I'm saying these this worthy place man you know it, it, it is the time to cut it cut cut out the the world basically you know yeah scripture so says that be holy find holy man right that word holy means what separate man you know so separation is a is the spirit of the day right now man this, this is the season that we're in you know separation from uh withdrawal from the world man yeah, and the brother brought it up the point that if you wasn't on fire he, now it's time to get on fire you know, so I got this one, you know, going to what was said, it's Revelation 2 and 4. So, nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, but thou hast left thy first love. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, you know, I come up to be quickly removed the candlestick out of the place, except thou repent, man. Mm -hmm. And so, this, so, so, this, this increase in the, in the labor, the increase in, in the work, you know, if, if, if you, if you was, uh, if you had to get your, your, your shit together, and now's the time to get it together, man. Now's the time to truly repent, man. Now's the time to truly cut things off. Now's the time to do that. Uh, Romans will say, what? Uh, make not provisions for the flesh, it's for the rest of us, man. And, and provision means providing, providing the, for your, your carnal side, man. 
providing for your flesh, and that's talking about the, the worldly things, you know. And it, it's time to provide for your spiritual, man. Your spir feed your spiritual side, man. You know, hey, hey we, we've been in this world long enough, man. Yeah. You know, we, we, we already tasted what this world has to offer, and we spewed it out on off already, man, because cause we tasted this truth from me. Hey, we, we, but you know what? But there's that fight's always there. But hey, now's the time to get right, man. To get, what, is, what they always say, bro? It's uh, get right or get left, man. Yeah. <laughs> that's what it is, bro. Yeah. You know, hey, hey, that's why the buggy brought up uh, that picture up. Uh, Make that calling an election sure, man. And that that means that you gotta put in a priority. That means it got to be a priority. And like your brother said, when you increase in doing your videos, you're you're casting a lot of things off. Basically you're 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 making this truth even even more of a priority. Not that it wasn't before, but it's, it's even more of a priority now these times, man. Hey, I wish I said it best right here. This is uh, Matthew 9 37. Then said he unto his disciples, a harvest truly is plentiful. Mm -hmm. But the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore that the Lord of the harvest, that he will send forth laborers into his harvest. You know, so there's a lot of work to be done, man, you know, even even now. Yeah. And especially now, you know, the all the all the prophecies are being fulfilled, man, so the warning has to go out even more. You know, so the Lord is justified to bring judgment upon these people, man. You know, that's all that's all the really the Lord's really doing, man. He's yeah. justifying himself in, in bringing judgment to the world, man. You know, because he's giving you the warning, he's he's allowing you you know, and he's giving you a, an opportunity to correct yourself, even though in the spirit, you know, we know that, you know, there's certain people that, you know, he just wants you to hear this so you, he could see all your fate, which yeah. is to be destroyed ultimately. So he can judge you. You know, so he could judge you, bro. You know, so, he, so you can't say it in the day, I don't know, Lord, don't be me about it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the truth, it's not fair. Hey, the Lord's just and fair, man. So he help, he help, he help, he help. And he might pull a little movie screen up, man, and say, he, he just did that, that remember when you passed by the camp right there? Remember when that man told you about the truth and you rejected it? Yeah, maybe you saw, you know, you clicked on it 20 seconds, you heard that the white man was a devil, and you turned that shit off. He's going to give you the history replay, man. Yeah, the Lord going to do that, man. You know? Uh, I got one. This is uh, Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. It says, Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. But whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. You see? So the Lord's not mocked, you know? They're going to get. Nobody's gonna make a fool of the Lord, man. Okay. You know what a man does in this life, man. He's gonna pay for it in one shape, form, or another. You see, so you know, knowing that, you know, how much more, you know, I mean, should, should should we examine ourselves? Should we, you know, um, you know, stay in the spirit? You know, do do what we were called to do, because we know we've been called, but we don't know we've been chosen. So that's why we, you know, that's why we have to make this calling and election shorter. It says. For he that sowed to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. You know, so it's no time to be in the world right now. You know, it's time to take heed to what the Spirit is saying. The Spirit is saying, stay in the stay in the Spirit. You know, stay in the Spirit, man. Mm -hmm. You know, continue to. It's not because it's not really. It's not just doing videos. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 staying in the Word. You know, and we know that this Word it, it purifies you. And that's what you want. You know, it says. For he that sold to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, right? You know, if you just please in the body, you know, you know this, this, you know, this, this body, you know, it, you know, there's only so much, you know, pleasure you can give it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like the brother was saying, like we we didn't taste it of the world. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we you know now it's like that's what brothers say nowadays. We say what well, this world, this world is boring. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah. and yeah. you don't have to have a yacht. You don't have to have you know what I'm saying Bentleys and and, 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 and and you know cash you know under your your bed you, you don't have to have any of those things to know that it's like it's not worth it you know that's what it, you know what you know being chose being chosen is, is more is worth more than that so it's, it's like moses say you know i'd rather uh suffer affliction and, and um for a season. you know for a season with my brother and then to you know, basically suffer, uh, you know, living it good for a season with, with you damn devils, man. Mm -hmm. and that's the same mentality brothers have, man. You know, we'd rather be oppressed right here, you know, go through the hell that we go through, you know, being made fun of and shit, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. whatever. You know, it don't matter, you know, because at the end, you know, when it matters, when it does matter, we're going to be glorified, man. You know? You, know, you got to have a certain faith to even believe that, man. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, a lot of people, they don't want to make this, that that's what they uh, sacrifice. They don't, want, they don't want to give up certain things in this world, man. 
they think they can they can do it all. They can they can still do their bullshit. Mm -hmm. And you know, oh, I I read the Bible. I go to church. <laughs> it's not it's not about it, man. Hey, this is a walk up. This is a lifestyle. Like we always say, this is a walk. This is a lifestyle, man. And and, and it truly calls for a separation. The scriptures are all about separation, man. The wheat and the tares, the 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 lamb and the goats, man. The the wicked and the righteous. There's always a separation that the Lord made. He, he always set aside. He always these these are my people. And these are not in the house of Saul, the house of David. There's always been a separation, man. And that's what that's what we're called to do right now. And we're in that state, we're in that season, and that spirit of a complete separation, holiness, man. Hey, I wish I said uh, I, I come to put father against mother, mm -hmm. son against a uh, uh, sister, you know, mother-in-law against uh, son-in-law. You know what I'm saying? Because that's really where we're at, man. We're in the mm -hmm. times where yeah. you're gonna know that, hey. This dude, you know, he's my he my family, but I can't trust dude around when when these especially these times are coming, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, it's, it's gonna be more revealed, man. That really the, the people that are really with you are the brothers, man. You know, mm -hmm. that's why the scriptures say a uh, a man should des uh, uh, desire to see his brother, man. Mm -hmm. You know, because we're gonna be in those times where you know we're gonna have people that you think are okay, you know, cool, whatever, and they're plotting on you, man. You know, that shit like this gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you said that even your family would be what, man? The, the father and mother shall forsake the... the so those, like that. those of the house shall be so basically yeah. turn you in. The scriptures say, the scriptures say, man, the love of many shall wax cold. Yep. You know what I'm saying? The scriptures say, and many shall be offended in me. Yep. You know what I mean? So when the Spirit's, when the spirit's speaking and telling you to do, you know, to stay on fire, hey, don't, you know, don't, don't, be, don't be offended. You know what I'm saying? You know, learn, learn, you know, you know get, get the spiritual side of it. Because of course the flesh, yeah. you know, the flesh will tell you, well, man, you know, three videos, man, oh, you know, that was that was a lot for me. And I don't know if I can do more, but you know, what I'm saying you got you got to fight the flesh. You know, I, I want to finish this out real quick. Yeah. For he that sowed to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. Mm -hmm. This is, but he that sowed to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And that's what you want, man. You want to sow to your spirit more now. Why? So that you can reap life everlasting, man. You know, cause forget, forget the flesh, man. You know, like, like the brother was, like we were just saying, man. Like you know, we, we already tasted the world. We already, you know, what I'm saying we already see what it was, man. And, 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 and you know, and it just, it's just not it. You know, we, 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 we desire a place where we the righteousness, man. But we never go out. You know what I'm saying? Where, 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 where the animals are going to be safe. Where the water is going to be uh, 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 pure, and the air and, and things of that nature, like. You know, we don't desire this world, man. What does this world offer you, man? You know, we are the world. The world's in, a, in an evil state. You, know, and you turn on, you turn on the, uh, you turn on the TV. You know, you can't even watch a kids show because there's wickedness in it. You can't even listen to the radio with your kids because there's some wickedness in it. You know, what I'm saying everywhere you turn, there's a demonic vibration out here, man. You know what I'm saying that you hold this truth and you fight in all these elements and all. You, you just want to, man. I just, just want to get out of here, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I just want to stay in the spirit. I don't want to go off no more. You know what I'm saying? That that's what it, that's 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 where your mind frame you know should be at. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I got this one real quick. So Matthew 6 33 says, Be seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and his righteousness, man. So it's so like the brother said, not just about it's about doing videos. The videos are that's just that's just an act of obedience, man. You know, it, the, the other Tamar said do one every day so the out of obedience we do it every day. He said like the brother according to we did we, he said that to the spirit man. You know, but uh it's it's a, it's about keeping yourself in the word. And going back to Psalm 119, I think it is uh what thought should a young man turns away by taking heed into that word, man. So this uh -huh. it's it's so right, it's doing bills every day and then giving into your scriptures every day, that's that's gonna only benefit you, man. It can only have a benefit to the body. I'm gonna keep on going. But seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh and its righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And all the, what are all these things? Well, that's the reward that we're gonna get, man. You know, and that's also the hedge of protection that the Lord's gonna put upon the men that he that that, that obey him, man. You know, the Lord the Lord puts a hedge of protection, and that hedge of protection is gonna increase because we're gonna need that that extra hedge when the times are coming, man. The men, the Lord, are gonna need that extra hedge because. Like I said, man, we don't have no uh, ways or means to fight Esau on his on his uh, on his battlefield. You know, we're on a completely different battlefield, man. But uh, going back to a spiritual warfare is not uh, our spiritual warfare is not carnal, man. You know, like we're on we're, we're on the spiritual uh, battlefield, man. Esau's on the carnal battlefield. Mm -hmm. 
And so, so, and so, our weapons, the weapons of our warfare, is is, is this word right here, man. Because, yeah. yeah, hey, even if you, you know, I know the brother mentioned it, like, oh, well, you know, before I thought, like, I could just do three videos and shit, you know, so now it's feeling like, it's feeling a little overwhelmed. Hey, pray to the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the Lord, hey, he, 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 hey, the Lord, it's easy for the Lord to give you more, uh, 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 wisdom to, to push them videos out more, man. You know, that I know brother's been doing that. You know, hey, Lord, you know, shit. Hey, put, put me on that spirit, man, to do more. You know, give me and put me on that spirit to, you know, to, you know, uh, uh, live up to the standard that's being set, basically, yeah, yeah. you know? So this is Ephesians 3 and uh, 20. I'll, I'll run it from verse 19. Yeah. And to know the love of Mashiach, which path is knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of the Most High. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us, unto him be glory in the church by Amashiach Yahweh through all ages, world without end. Amen. You know, so basically, man, it says exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. So, hey, the, hey, the Lord, hey, ask the Lord, man, you know, hey, Give me a, a double portion of spirit that, that the one I have yeah, you know, to to increase me, man. So I could do the, this the, these videos, you know, to you know be more brotherly. Because the brother said that it's not just about the videos, you know, be more brotherly, be more charitable. You know, uh, the list goes on, man. Yeah. You know how being there for a brother when the brother needs it, man. You know that 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 shows a lot. You know what I'm saying, and, and everything, you know, it's basically a lot of things that's gonna culminate to that perfect man that the Lord ultimately wants, man. Hey, the scripture said that Yahweh Shai taught daily in the temple, man. Uh -huh. So, I'm going to get this right here. J John 14, 12 says, Very, very say unto you, this Yahweh Shai speaking. He that believeth on me, on the works that I do, he shall do also. So, Yahweh Shai taught daily in the temple. So, so we, get, we can have the same spirit to, to teach daily also. And greater works than these shall he do. Because I go unto my father. So, the brother, like the brother said, hey, pray, pray, man. Hey, Yahweh Shai will go unto the father, hey, Give my servant a, 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 a double portion of spirit to, to continue to do his work, man. Make him a fountain of living See, water, you know what I'm saying? So he could you know, spew out this, this knowledge, man. And that's ultimately what we all seek to be. You know, a fountain, a well where brothers could come drink from, man. Mm -hmm. You know, just like your house, I was like, you think the disciples weren't learning all kinds of things from him? You know, they were feeding off all the knowledge that he possessed, man. You yeah, they, they would ask him, like, what did the... What does this mean? He has to break them the parables. Because mm -hmm. they didn't know, man. You know, they were like, you know, they were learning. They were in the milk stages, man. Yeah, they, they would go to Yahweh Shai and say, well, what do you mean by this and this? And Yahweh Shai would break them the parable for them, man. I got it. This is Psalms 1 and 2. But his delight is in the law of Yahweh, and his law doth he meditate day and night. Okay. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season mm -hmm. you see and you want to meditate on this word day and night you know there shouldn't be a day where, where you go out you know and you don't you don't uh, read a scripture man you know what i'm saying you watch a video or watch a video you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying you can't read a scripture watch a video man. Mm -hmm. yeah and and, and, and and you know like the like the you know like the elder Marx was always saying like hey man if you're reading if you're reading uh every day if you're reading the scriptures every day why not speak about the scriptures every day because mm -hmm. he, he referenced uh, joshua uh, what a name which says that this word shall not depart of thy mouth uh, day nor night you know what I'm saying so he's like well if, you, if you're going to be talking about the word might as well put it on on camera you might as well you know put it out there so it says uh, but his law but his delight is in the law of Yahweh and in, and in his law doth he meditate day and night and he shall be like a tree planted but with the, you know going back to what the brother was saying it says and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season, right? You want to be a firm tree planted by what? By by water. Now we know that water is what? This word. You know what I'm saying? And you bring forth your fruit. You bring forth your your you know your works in due season, man. You gotta be patient. You know, in, in due season, you know, in, you know, you know, the Lord, the Lord have you, you know, pump <laughs> pump out these, you know, <laughs> 30 videos a day, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was a joke, I'm just kidding. It says uh it should be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall. <laughs> so I get, and it says his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. And that's really what you want to do, man. You really want to prosper in this truth, man. You really want to prosper to salvation. You know, you want to have success in this truth in, in your life. You know what I'm saying? And, and how much more to do it than to be in the Word? 
Yeah, that's, that's what we're talking about, true success, man. Not the success of this world, man. Right, yeah. But the, the, sex, the success of, of obeying the law, that you commandment, because that was the success in the scriptures. It promised the true individual that if they follow the law, that commandment, that they're going to be above every other people, that they're, they're going to be successful in everything right. they do. Well, they're going to be on top, basically, man. Mm -hmm. And that, if we're looking to be on top, man, because we've been, we've been in the bottom for far too long, man. You know, we've been in the bottom. The Lord's going to exalt us. He's specifically, the left was going to be the man that do this, do this work, man. I'm going to get this one real quick. So 1 Timothy 4, 14, it says, uh, Neglect not the gift that is in thee, it was given thee by prophecy, with the laying of the hands of the presbytery. We've all been given a gift, man. But most importantly, we've been given the gift of faith, man. You know, that, that itself is a gift, man. So neglect not the gift that is in you. Neglect not your faith, man. Act on it. And how do you act on it? By doing these videos every day, man. Mm -hmm. It says, verse 15, meditate upon these things. Give thyself wholly to them. So not partially to them, not not 98% uh, to them, but wholly to them. That thy prophecy may appear to all. Right. Take heed unto thyself. Uh -huh. So this is a time of self-examination also, man. And the, to, uh, unto the doctrine, uh -huh. continue in them. For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee, man. Because hey, our words gonna go out to the to the hopeful elect out there, man. See, thank you. God, that's all I have. Hey, with that God. being said, man, hey, most I believe hope is edifying. I say, go back to your hawa, back to your hawa, back to your shai, back to your shai, back to your hawa, back to your hawa, back to your shai, back to your shai, back to your hawa, back to your hawa, back to your shai, back to your shai. Shalom, shalom.